Here's my 30 line bed format televisor. Uh, I started this in at the end of 1993, it's March 2022 and it's finally producing a picture. So the image here is coming from my uh, optical standards converter which is just a, an ordinary 625 line television feeding my laptop which is running this program um, from the narrow band TV association which converts the input from the laptop camera uh, into a 30 line bed format signal so here it is 20 inch disc uh, the dimensions are as per the bed televisor that was made by Plessy uh, but as you can see I've done a lot of well semi-modern electronics uh, a phase lock loop to control the motor speed the motor is out of a LA120 deck rider made by Digital Equipment Corporation back in the 70s um, that's a 24 volt motor DC permanent magnet brush motor and there's a video amplifier on board uh, which converts the incoming signal minimum of about 70 millivolts and in this light box here is a, a white lead array with 44 LEDs they're modulated by the 6EM5 beam tetrode here uh, yeah so that's about it uh, next thing I've got to do is yeah, get the uh, transmitter underway but yeah as you can see from the other images the uh, yeah the marking out of the disc holes was not as accurate as I'd like so I need to uh, sort something out and just before I go uh, here's my 5BP1 television set from Plans in Radio and Hobbies September 1957 uh, but yeah that's also on the site if you want to have a, a look at that Warner and Minus Labuschagne. Warner with an entertaining 36 while Labuschagne was one out for a duck. Baggy green number 464 for Mitchell Swepson, but the leggy would have to wait to show off his craft with Australia winning the toss and batting. The first few overs were tough going for Australia's openers. Usman Kawaja had an edge fall short, while David Warner survived a couple of tight LBW shouts. Oh, that's not a bad shot. What about that one? They like that, Pakistan. What did the umpire say? Shake of the head. Despite some nervy moments, the pair were rattling along at nearly five and over for the first hour. Oh, that's a strong drive. Held on the runs in the opening session of their second test against Pakistan, the boss both David Warner and Manus Labuschagne. Warner with an entertaining 36, while Labuschagne was one out for a duck. Baggy green number 464 for Mitchell Swepson, but the leggy would have to wait to show off his craft with Australia 5 and over for the first hour. Oh, it's a strong drive. There will be major challenges in the aftermath of that. In Camden, the Poplar Caravan Park is flooded out, rubbish everywhere. And Rock the close contact isolation rule because it's become redundant. He says he can't see a return of restrictions, despite fears of a new wave of COVID as we head into winter. The Prime Minister packing groceries. It's, it's starving businesses of staff. And despite COVID and flu cases expected to surge in winter. Regarding concerns about the impending surge of COVID cases, according to nine newspapers, Health Minister Brad Hazard has pushed back on advice from his own department that the wearing of masks indoors and density limits should be reintroduced. Secret information. It hasn't been generated by the CIA. It's the Department of Health, for goodness sake. We should have access to it. The number of new cases dipped today for the first time in Ukraine, the bombardment inching closer to Europe than ever before. It's a troubling development, proving fresh sanctions are doing little to limit 
Vladimir Putin's advancement. The sound warning Western Ukraine. Okay, here's the televisor with the uh, cabinet on top. Uh, motor speed control. That's the synchronising on-off switch to set the frame phasing. That's to invert or make the video signal normal polarity. And that's the contrast control. So as you can see, it's loosely styled upon the... Uh, the Plessy televisor